Hey guys, this is Tasty Ness, and I'm about to show you uh, the chicken stroganoff. Felicia Fitness Health on Instagram makes this delicious looking chicken stroganoff, and I've been dying to try it, y'all, but I'm a Weight Watchers person, and you know pasta has lots of calories, but they have come out with this fiber pasta that I learned about through Felicia Fitness Health on Instagram, who I got this chicken stroganoff recipe from, and it's lower in points than more pasta, than normal pasta. So we're just gonna try this recipe out. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. I have the light pina fiber pasta. I have blackened chicken tenders um, that I cooked in my air fryer. So I've already cooked them and I've chopped them up here. They're delicious. Zero points for as many as you want. Yay! Spinach, I got about a cup of spinach here. Then I have about a fourth a cup of onion here. And I have about a half a cup of mushroom. These are the ingredients that will go in Felicia Fitness Health Chicken Stroganoff. She's had this recipe on Instagram, I know for at least a year, but I haven't tried it because I'm the pasta. But now that I ordered these, I'm ready to try it. So we're gonna start by measuring our pasta. And I just looked at her recipe and I was so excited because it says that when I scanned the pasta, it was showing that it was two, it was three points for two ounces dry. But when I looked at her back at her recipe, it says that two ounces dry is only two points. The app is wrong. It has the old formula. Yay! So this is only going to be two points for two ounces dry. And then I also forgot to mention that Felicia says this makes the difference in the recipe is the low-fat cottage cheese. So a fourth a cup of the low-fat cottage cheese is going to be one point. The pasta is going to be two points. Everything else is zero. So I'm looking forward to this. So I have my food scale here and it's two ounces dry. So I have zeroed out. Well, I had zero. It's, okay, it's, I have my dish here and I'm just gonna pour until it gets to two ounces. All right, that's quite a bit. That's only 1.6 there, 1.7, a little bit more. Let's see, that's 2.2. You know you gotta be exact. Right on the two, there we go. So I'm gonna start boiling my water for my pasta. And once that comes to a boil, then I pour my pasta in. But while that's starting to boil, I'm gonna start sauteing all of my vegetables. So I'm gonna put a little cooking spray in my skillet. Don't forget to like and share with your friends if you like what you see, you like my energy, you wanna join my energy on this journey as I explore Weight Watchers recipes. So I am going to put in about a half a cup of mushrooms. Now Felicia really doesn't tell you exactly how much, but these are zero points, so you can just put as much as you like in. I cut up about a half a cup, and then I have about a fourth a cup of onion here that I'm gonna saute up. And I'm gonna get all of that goodness in there. And then I have about a cup of spinach. You know that's gonna cook down. And then we're gonna saute this up first. And then we'll add our chicken since it's already cooked. I am so excited, guys. I've been looking at this recipe for a year and I see how good. She, I mean, she just says, matter of fact, I just read her post. It said she was saying how it's so good that she could eat it every day. So you know I got to try it. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. I ain't never heard of no chicken stroganoff, but we gonna try it today, chicken stroganoff. Waiting on my water for my pasta to come to a boil. So that spinach is cooking down. Got the onions and the mushrooms cooking down and you know what I think I'm gonna add even though I have the black and chicken tenders that have seasoning on it these by the way are the bomb the bomb.com oh my goodness these are so good these chicken um black and chicken tenders zero points they also have a buffalo uh chicken tenders that are zero points as well 
Easy way to get, uh, bulk up your meals with protein for no points at all, actually. Look how that spinach is, is uh, cooking down. Let that simmer. I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken. And we'll let that simmer until I get my pasta. I've seen Felicia use, um, cook her own chicken as well. You don't have to buy the Tyson's chicken, but it makes it so much easier to have it already ready. I cooked it in the air fryer and I chopped it up. It's so much easier to have it already. You could season your own chicken, bake it up and do it that way, or you can use the pre-cooked chicken and throw it in the air fryer. I think my water's boiling, so I dumped that pasta in there and we should be good to go. Got my strainer ready to drain the pasta. Soon as it gets done and add it to my skillet and we'll be ready to go. See how quickly this came about? When you have the chicken already ready, get your uh, pasta and all of your ingredients. Delicious protein packed lunch or dinner in just minutes. So let's see how long it's supposed to let this pasta cook. It says on here, bring water to a boil, um, stir in the pasta, boil for six to 10 minutes, so we're going to give it about four more minutes, or it says, or until desired texture, drain and rinse pasta, and then add your toppings. If you like what you've seen today, um, I want you to subscribe to my channel, Tasty Ness, as I take you along this journey of trying new Weight Watcher recipes. As I said, it's the highlight of my weekend. And it's gonna be an amazing and exciting journey. So come along with me. Um, along this journey, I'm gonna share with you about my 100 pound weight loss and how I've maintained that weight loss for over 15 years, going on almost 20 years now. All right, let's turn it off and get it started. Let's rinse it out. We're going to add it to our vegetable and chicken mixture and then add in our cottage cheese. Turn it with the heat back up a little bit to let the cottage cheese melt. And voila, we're done. We're going to add a little salt and pepper to it. Look at that cheese melting. It's about melted. It's dinner time. Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. And like it's gonna be so filling. Test. Let's test it out. Want to get everything in my bite. I got some onion, some mushroom, some spinach, some of the chicken, and a little bit of pasta. Mmm! This is good, y'all. If you like what you saw, tap the like button, comment, subscribe to my channel, and share with your friends. Come along this journey with me as I try new Weight Watchers recipes each and every week. The highlight of my week.